This video is brought to you by Technically Not a Technician. Today's video is an unboxing, setup, and demo of my new Arcade 1UP. Like many of you out in YouTube land, I grew up watching The Simpsons, and I've enjoyed many of the games that have been developed over the years. It wasn't until I was an adult, and learning about MAME ROMs that I learned of The Simpsons bowling game. I gave the MAME ROM a try and I really enjoyed playing the game. The only issue was, I didn't have a trackball set up in any of the main builds I've constructed. I've also played the regular four-person Simpsons game. Both the ROM and the standard arcade. Let's face it, both are fun games to play. If I can find the time, I may do a light main build on this arcade one-up in the future. As you can see in the background I also have an outrun arcade cabinet. That cabinet has been modified as a main cabinet. However, my nephew, who is only 6 years old, doesn't understand that computer power supplies don't like to have their electric supply turned on and off over and over again real fast. As a result that cabinet's down right now. I'm hoping that it's only the power supply, and I've ordered a new one. If you see a video of me replacing it in the future then you'll know I've figured it out. Like most all of us, I'm not as rich as the Rockefellers, and I didn't really have the cash to pay full price on any of the cabinets that I own. I'm always looking for deals on the cabinets I want. I can't say that I've found bargains on every arcade cabinet I've wanted to buy, but I feel like I got a good price on this one. I found it on Facebook Market as a local pickup. The total cost was $280, and about 30 minutes of drive time. I'm sure some of you have gotten better deals, but this is the one I found, and I'm not going to bitch about it. To date, I've built 11 arcade 1UP cabinets including this one. The truth is if you've ever put IKEA furniture together, you can do this. Arcade 1UP really does make it easy to build, and the instructions are a little better than typical. Out of the 11 cabinets I've built, I've turned 4 of them into main cabinets. The first two I did were Street Fighter cabinets, and I gave those to family and friends to enjoy. Over the years I learned I kind of suck at gaming, but as it turns out I'm awesome at emulation. I started emulating in the early 2000s with the NES and Atari 2600. I've got to say emulation has come a long way. Back in the day we only had windows to emulate from, I love how now we have tons of options. Retropie, Batocera, Recallbox, and bunches of others. I also love all the front ends we have now. When I'm doing my builds, I like to get all the parts out of the box, identified, and placed in an area that I can find. Yes, I know I'm anal retentive, it's just how I was made. I also try and clean as I go, I hate finishing a project, just to have the project of cleanup waiting for me. You're also going to see me use an electric screw gun. I know Arcade 1UP says not to use one, and I don't recommend that you do. I was once a tradesman, and I know what I'm doing. It's going to be up to you to decide if you want to use a screw gun or not. All I'm saying is if you do, and you mess it up. I don't want to hear about it. For the love of god why didn't one of you people tell me my bald head was so shiny? All I can say is, at least I don't have to look at it.
These arcade cabinets really are easy to build, and I think the quality of material is decent also. The reality is these cabinets are an oversized toy. With that fact in mind, Arcade 1UP has taken that arcade experience and delivered it into our homes. With the combo of price point and quality of the material used, these little cabinets have the potential to work great as built or to be modded into a multicade. I've obviously sped this video up so the fine people in YouTube land don't have to wait, but in reality, it took just under an hour to build this cabinet. Personally, I think under an hour isn't bad. I happen to have a ton of crap on my plate, but like many of you, so the fact that I can build the unit and still have the day to do all the other crap that I have to is kind of nice. I love that the newer cabinets have a light-up marquee, and I can tell you the speakers in the newer cabinets are smaller. However, they are in stereo, and they seem to be of better quality than the old 4-inch mono speaker they had in those first-generation cabinets. As someone who has built a few Gen 1 and Gen 2 cabinets, I've got to say, the design on the marquee and speakers has come a long way. The cabinet is the first that I have with the arcade 1UP coin slot. It's nothing more than some plastic molded into the shape of the coin door. I'm thinking about getting a real one to replace it with. It really is cool looking, but I'd prefer something functional. There isn't even much really to the coin doors. As you can see, the back side of the coin doors is nothing more than anchor points. This part is always fun. These units have a few small wooden pegs that help hold everything in place. They really aren't much of an issue, as long as you hold your jaw right, when you're trying to align the pegs in all the holes. Seriously, just take your time, and everything will line up as it should. I'm also going to reiterate, not everyone should use a screw gun. If you question if you should, the answer is no, you should not. Just use a regular screwdriver. If you don't know what you're doing with a screw gun it can be easy to damage your cabinet. Basically, you have to become one with the gun. Kind of like a ninja with his sword.
I've got to admit, this part took me a minute. I couldn't see anything, and I had to get a flashlight to see how the plug needed to be facing in order to fit into my control panel. It took a minute, but I wanted to be sure that I didn't force the plug in. After all, forcing the plug in will break the unit, and that's no bueno. Removing the film off of both sides of the protective covering is important in order to take full advantage of the beautiful graphical designs that are on this cabinet. No, I'm just bullshitting you, but if you don't remove it, and you take pictures and post them to Facebook groups, random strangers will talk smack about the fact that you didn't remove it. What can I say? I didn't make the rules. Now it's really starting to look like a cabinet. We are getting closer to game time, my peoples. We almost have the cabinet built. The last item to build will be the riser. The riser on this cabinet comes with the unit. Most of the units I've gotten in the past don't come with the riser and you have to buy it as a separate item. The risers are very easy to build and shouldn't take you any time at all to put together. The riser also uses the wooden pegs I was speaking of earlier. However, as the riser parts are smaller it's much easier to manage fitting the wooden pegs into the sides and matching everything together. The units that I have that came with a riser, seem to stand out against the units I have, that have the generic arcade 1-up risers. The risers are simple and very sturdy. They make a nice base and really help the average person play comfortably. All in all I feel like I'm going to really enjoy playing this unit, and I just may mod it. If I can find the time. Now that we have the unit up and running, I'm going to update the software and set it up. Then we can demo both games. I love the marquee. The lighting and camera do not do it justice.
I kind of feel as if I've talked your ear off, so let's do the demo, and I'll keep my mouth shut. I have no idea how music from video games works as far as copyrights. So I've cut out the sound from the games, but I do want to say it sounds and is working great.
We hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like and subscribe.